Two talented cousins, one killed, the other seriously injured, all after a dispute that started on a basketball court. We first told you about the shooting in Wadesboro yesterday. They decided to go just play ball. I mean, that's just something they all do when they get together. Well, since then, our Tina Terry talked with the mother of one of the victims. Tina, the mother tonight, begging the community to come forward with any information. For Malik like to be taken like that, like it meant nothing, and now my son is laying here in this hospital, may never walk again, it's not fair. Loretta Williams wasn't supposed to be here outside Levine Children's Hospital fighting for her son. Who is that heartless to do something like that to my nephew and my son? You know, they didn't deserve it. Her nephew, 16-year-old Malik Bird, and her 15-year-old son, Krishan Huff, were playing a game of pickup basketball in Wadesboro Monday. Police say there was some sort of altercation on the court. Malik and Krishan weren't involved, but they left with a group of friends. The gunman followed and fired into the car. Malik, described as a good student and football player at Anson High, was shot and killed. My son was asleep. He woke up to a bullet hitting him. This wasn't supposed to happen. Krishan was among a small group of students to receive a Wayfind scholarship from Wingate University. He worked hard to get good grades, hoping to be the first in his family to go to college. Y'all can't keep involving innocent people. That's not fair to the, the families that's raising their kids right. Police haven't made an arrest, and they say many have been unwilling to help detectives, but Williams is crying out to the public for help. If anybody know anything, I mean, come forward. It's not snitching because these boys are innocent. That was our Tina Terry reporting. The Wayfind program sent us a statement tonight saying Krishan is a cherished member of the Wayfind family and they are rooting for his strong recovery. If you have any information about this case, you are asked to call the Wadesboro Police.